Hey guys, what is going on? Jimmy from Witchway here. Welcome to the Ghostwire Tokyo official uh, coverage for E3 Bethesda 2019. This was one of the surprises that they announced for us. Um, I'm shortly recording this after the Doom Eternal um, E3 coverage. So this won't be uh, as long as that one, but uh, you know, it's just one of those surprises, one of those unreleased games that they just, you know, show every year. And uh, this one's looking very interesting. This is uh, from the people uh, who bought us The Evil Within, Tang uh, Tango Game Studio. Am I saying that right? Uh, Tango, Tango Game Studios. Tango Gameworks, sorry. So, yeah, this uh, this is going to be... Uh, we have no idea what this game uh, is about. Um, n you know, not we don't have a lot of info on this game. But first off, um, straight from the trailer, it is giving off that creepy vibe. Um, which I love. Um, I mean, this could go in the way that uh, it, it introduces us to the, you know, the Japan, um, you know, horror series, Japan, you know, horror games and all that type of stuff. So this could be another great in, uh, entry. But again, this is just, um, you know, we have no gameplay yet, so can't be too certain. Um, but as the lady said, uh, who introduced uh, the game, it is um it has a paranormal and supernatural uh, element to it as you can see from the trailer it is giving off that vibe and uh you know it's it's looking great i'm i'm very keen very um you know big on you know the supernatural and paranormal ghosts aliens you name it in video games so yeah i just i just can't get over this trailer how good it looks it looks so realistic which it's it's you know, it's a, I would say it's a level above, you know, the Evil Within cinematic trailers and, you know, all that type of stuff. It just looks so real. I mean, you'd think it was a movie, basically. And, you know, when you see the people disappearing in the trailer, it's, this is what happens when you mess with Thanos. <laughs> this is the snap. See, this is exactly what happens. This is why you don't mess with, the, with him at all. This is what happens. Um, and also I noticed the guy in the trailer with the bow and arrow on his back, or just the bow, that is Hawkeye. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't tell me that that is not Hawkeye. This is Endgame. This is what Endgame, the Tokyo scene, should have been. <laughs> but no, I joke, of course. Um, and you know, when the guy, uh, with the, uh, Oni-looking mask, if that's what it's named, correct me if I'm wrong, when the people are floating up towards the sky, it just reminds me of a scene straight from Death Stranding. I mean, to me, this is Bethesda's version of Death Stranding. So, um, you, I mean, see, like, right there, it just reminds me of that Death Stranding so much, just the scenes that we've seen already from it. So that's a sentence and a half. So um, the lady, yeah, so as I said, the lady, I was talking about how um, this game will deliver paranormal and uh, supernatural elements to it. I can see this being a very, uh, you know, a detective-like investigating game, um, whether it be, you know, on missions, searching for clues and answers to what happened, to the disappearance of someone. I can see it, you know, sort of being like that. I could be completely off, but if that, if they were to incorporate that into the game and me being correct, that would be amazing. Like I can totally, you know, see that, and I can see a lot of you know, from the Evil Within 1 and the Evil Within 2, I can see a lot of that in this trailer, now that, you know, I've watched it, um, you know, a few times. Um, other than that, I can't wait to play this game. It looks amazing. Um, hopefully, it is uh, not an exclusive. I mean, I doubt it would be, since it's Bethesda, but you never know. Uh, it looks awesome as hell. I hope we see a, uh, a tiny bit of it by the end of the year. I think they'll show it, um, some more of it next year um, before the 2020 E3 and uh, yeah uh, like I said it looks incredible the trailer the trailer looks incredible and realistic so yeah let me know what your thoughts uh, on this are down below and uh, yeah that's it for Ghostwire Tokyo hopefully you guys did enjoy that leave a like if you did subscribe if you like what you saw and uh, I'll see you for as I'm recording this the Ubisoft and Square Enix uh, conferences, I can't speak, conferences are tomorrow as I'm recording this, so uh, I'll have some Division 2 and For Honor things um, up as well. Uh, I'll do them as quick as I can, as fast as I can, get them out 
and I'll also be doing Cyberpunk and just the ones that I haven't done yet. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you like what you saw, and uh, I'll see you for the next video I make. Peace!